Hey guys, welcome to the next video in Scala tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to use arrays in Scala. Now in this video, we will see how to use lists in Scala. Now Scala lists are quite similar to Scala arrays in a sense that they are the collection of similar data type elements, right? and uh, a list can have only one data type elements right but there are two fundamental differences between arrays and lists one is arrays are mutable and lists are immutable immutable means you cannot change the element value of list once it's assigned and second is lists represent the linked lists whereas arrays are flat so let's see how we can use lists so as in the case of arrays you can just uh, write var or val and then the variable name for example my list and then uh, the data type so it's of data type lists in our case right and then the element data type in the list so we want the list of for example ints so we can just write uh, int or if we want the uh, a list of uh, string you can write string or any other data type which scala supports right and then you write equals list and then you initialize your list with the elements so for example in our case because it's a list of uh, integers we can just write one comma two and we can just uh, create the list of integer similarly if we want to make the list of uh, let's say string so let's say we want to make the list of uh, name names right so in this case we can just use the data type string here and instead of uh, using the integers or numbers we will just use the names for example so for example now if you want to print your list you can just simply use print line and then uh, print your list like this so i'm going to just print out both the list so print line uh, my list and print line names and i'm going to run my code and you can see it prints the first list which is my list variable and the second list which is the list of names now as i said lists are immutable so for example in case of arrays this operation will be perfectly fine so when i write my list and then in parentheses i use the index of the list so lists are also zero indexed so for example i can just write uh, my list and in the parentheses the index of uh, whatever element i want to change and then let's say i will just assign a different value to it at index zero and you can see it shows us error which says value update is not a member of list int so we cannot change the value of the list so this is the basic difference between arrays and the list now you may ask if i'm not allowed to uh, change the value of list how they are useful so for example i want to append uh, in the beginning or the end of the list how can i do it right so let's see how we can do it so let's say i want to uh, just uh, add some number at the beginning of this list so this is the list and i want to uh, just add zero let's say in the beginning of the list so how i can do it so there are two fundamental uh, building blocks of a list one is a nil which we will see in a moment and another is a cons so we will see the use of cons right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to append a zero and then i'm going to just write double colon and in scala it's called a cons okay so this cons is used to prepend zero in the list uh, my list right so i'm going to just save this and then run this program and then it prints zero you see so zero is prepended and then your list content 
but keep in mind so let's say i print the value of list once again and run the code and you can see the content of my list is not changed so what it's going to do is if you want to assign uh, the value of uh, the consing of my list and zero to another list variable it's possible but the changing of the you know list is not possible so we are not changing the value of my list but we are just prepending zero to the existing list which will not change my list itself now the second thing i said about list is nil so nil is also of type list so i'm going to just uh, print for example nil first of all so you can see it's a empty list so what you can do is it's you can create a list using this nil uh, value so for example i can just write one cons any other number cons any other number cons and this is going to create a list of three numbers which is one five and nine so whenever you cons anything to the nil is going to create a list now let's see some of the method associated with the list so if i want to find out the for example first value of the list i can just write head here which will give me the first value of the list and if i want to uh, get the last value of the list i can just write tail here right so if you are uh, familiar with linked lists you use head and tail in case of linked list and that's why these notations are useful now if you want to check whether your list is empty or not you can just uh, use a method called is empty and this is going to give you a boolean value uh, if the list is empty it's going to give us true and if list is not empty it's going to give us false right so let's run the code once again and you can see the results here so for the my list the head or the first value is one so it's printing one now the second result is interesting so tail is uh, whatever you get after removing the first value so the tail in the case of uh, names is tom and john tail in the case of uh, my list will be two five eight nine six four okay so head is the first value and tail is whatever rest remaining so that's why you're getting tom and john here okay and then we have checked if the name list is empty or not and it returns us false right so let's uh, print the tail of the my list also so we can see and verify the results so you can see it start with 258964 let's see some other uh, method related to the list so for example if i use uh, reverse method so if i use the reverse method on the list it's going to give us the reverse uh, list so it will start from 4 which is the last element of the list and it will go up to 1 which is the first element of the list now if you want to create a uniform list that means uh, a list which contains only same type of uh, elements so you can use the fill uh, method for that so let me show you how uh, you can do it so i can just write list dot fill and then i will uh, first write how many uh, number of element i want in my list so let's say i want five element and then what is the element i want in the list so let's say i want uh, two in my list so list of twos okay and when i run the program it's going to give us the list of uh, twos which have five elements similarly you can uh, use uh, other method with lists also so in eclipse you can just write list and then dot and then you will see uh, more method associated with a list so just go through them and uh, see the description of uh, you know every method 
and whatever method or you want to uh, you know implement you can use it so for example let's say i want to use the method called max here which is going to give us the maximum of the whole list so you can see it gives us nine which is the maximum in the list of integer now let's see how we can iterate over the list for example so to iterate over the list you can uh, just use the name of your list for example my list and then you can use a method called for each on your list and what it will do is it will go over or iterate over every element of the list and perform the operation which you will write inside these parentheses so for example i want to print uh, every element of the list so in th inside this parenthesis i can just write print ln which is going to print out all the element of the list you can see it has printed out all the element of the list so because it's a print line so it, so it will print on different lines in a similar way for example if you want to just find out the sum of uh, the list so what i'm going to do is i'm going to define a, a var or variable and then i'm going to just say sum and it's going to be of data type int right and the initial value of uh, the sum variable is zero okay and then i can just write my list dot for each sum plus equals and then this underscore and this means what we want to do is we want to add each element of the list so this for each will iterate over every element of the list which is indicated by this underscore and what it's going to do is it's going to just add this value to the sum variables so it will iterate over this list one by one and then it will add to this sum variable right so when we just print the value of uh, sum so let's say we will just write print ln and then we uh, will just write uh, sum here it's going to give us the sum of the list which is 35 in this case now the next way of uh, iterating over the list is using the for loop so you can just write for here and then you can iterate over the list so for example i want to iterate over the list of names so i will just write a name here which is the uh, iterated element and then we will just write this arrow here and then we will just pass the list name so our list name is names right so this is this list okay and what we want to do after iterating over every element of the list we just want to print out uh, every element so we will just write print ln and then we can just write name here as we have seen previously so what this for loop does it will iterate over each element of this list name and every time it it rates over the element it will just uh, you know assign the value of this element to this name variable and this name variable we are printing right so this is the list and every iteration it will be assigned to this name variable and we are printing this name here so we are going to just uh, run our code and you can see it prints out all the names one by one now you can get the value of uh, an uh, element based on the index also so for example i want to print out the value of element uh, at index 0 in the name list i can do this which is uh, going to give me the zeroth index element of this list but it's not very uh, efficient to use this kind of notation but it's possible so i have uh, just shown you so this is how you can use lists in scala i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now